Welcome to the Gospel of Luke, chapter 12, verse 33 and 34 today. Sell what you have and give alms. Provide yourselves money bags which do not grow old, a treasure in the heavens that does not fail, where no thief approaches, nor moth destroys. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. So, did you know that the Bible wants us to provide money bags for ourselves? Somehow that doesn't, doesn't quite sound right, does it? But look at what he's telling us. He's telling us, watch where you put your, uh, watch where you keep your treasures. What is your treasure? Is it your automobile? Is it your computer? Is it your phone? Is it, is it your spouse? Is it your child? What is your treasure? Your first treasure should be the kingdom of God. It should be that. It should be being a truly human person, an unselfish, Jesus echoing, yes, very far from Jesus, but still in our little way, we echo Jesus, we become more like him. And he says, you know, give to other people, be a giving person, get the value of character, the things that the thief cannot ever take away, get those things and make an impact on the world, make some changes in the world by being a person of the kingdom. That's the way you make some changes in the world. That's the way you make the world a better place. Oh, no, the world's falling to pieces all around us. Okay, well, be a Christian. Just be a Christian, and the world will become a better place, at least around in your bubble where you're making your impact. You know, so he says here, what else? Where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. Very true, very true. The things you think about, the things that are in your brain, the things that you're watching, the things that you're investing yourself in, the things that you're doing. Where your treasure is, that's where your treasure is going to be, is what you're putting your time in because we all get the same amount of time. I've got the same amount of time as Elon Musk. He does not have a minute more than I do. And so I have that time and I have so much time to prepare for heaven and become more like Jesus and I've got time to just become more and more selfish. The devil's trying to drive me into the selfish pattern. Jesus wants to help me be in the unselfish pattern. I need to make some pretty serious choices and it has to be day by day. So let's put our treasure in the right place and in the right things, and God will take care of the rest. Let's pray about that. Dear Father in heaven, thank you for your great mercies. Your mercies uh, are to give us opportunities so that treasure can be placed in the things that we should value properly. Help us, Lord. Help us to value the things you would have us value. Thank you for watching over us. Thank you for, for Jesus. May our eyes be watching and may our lives be echoing the Lord of glory, Jesus Christ, Messiah. Thank you for hearing our prayer, Lord. In Jesus' name we ask, amen. Friend, may the, may the King of heaven and earth be for you and be with you and bless you today.